How's it going, everyone? Justin Felisco checking in from Colorado Springs, and we're starting Division B this weekend for the Monster Energy Team Challenge in Vegas. So today I want to catch up with Team Boot Barn Captain Dale and Swearingen. We've seen some guys now, three teams get to Vegas out of Division A. Have you had a chance to watch any of the competition so far? Yeah, I watched a little bit when um, when I've just kind of had some downtime traveling, um, and uh, it looks like a really cool, neat deal, and I'm excited to go out there. Well, let's get right into it. Your team, it's Taylor Tovez, Andrew Alvarez, and Colton Fritzlin, plus yourself. What are your chances going into Division B, you think? Oh, I think our, I think our chances are good. Everybody's riding good. Um and feeling good, so I think uh, it's going to be good. You had quite the week. Last week in Coleman, Texas, you went for 90-plus there. Then you won the Mesquite Rodeo this past weekend. But in between those two, you actually got to go to J.B. Mooney's house, his ranch, get on some practice bowls with Andrew. Uh, the team GM give you guys some good tips before this event starts? Yeah, he did. He, I kind of just had some – I've just kind of been not really getting out over them bowls, and um, we just – didn't change my rope, but we changed how I was riding with it, and uh, and then the next day I got on the bull, and it felt a lot better, so um, it was definitely super cool to go down there and um, be around those guys. What was it like for you to finally get a chance to kind of just sit down with JB and have that one-on-one -on -one kind of practice? It's a huge competition coming up. You got on four bulls, and it seems like now you're kind of at a, the right spot in momentum to really knock things out of the park in Vegas. Yeah, and, and it was super cool to go down there and spend time with JB and stuff. I mean, just his mentality and how he looks at stuff is uh, just great to, like, that I could feed off that, you know, and um, it was just really cool to go down there. You got in four bulls on Friday there at his ranch. Um, how'd they go? And then what was the conversation like with JB when you bucked off a couple? Yeah, it was just, um, I just kind of got to sitting on the cut, like, sitting right down out of there. And, uh, and we just kind of changed it and uh, got back out over them. And it was it was all bulls that went right. And um, that those are the bulls I kind of need to be working on. It's the bulls that go right away from my hand uh, and just not let left or right make a matter. Um, just because if you're riding the buck, then, then the spin will come. Um, you just got to ride the buck, the drop, and the kick first before the spin. So there's six teams competing in Division B. You got to finish in the top three to qualify for the postseason in Sioux Falls. Um, we've already seen Jose Vitor Lemmy just dominate the competition in Vegas. Um, what do you and your team have to do to make sure that you guys can get to Sioux Falls and maybe face off against Jose's team? Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna ride bulls, and I know um, we've all been getting on bulls and practice bulls and going to rodeos and stuff to just kind of stay in shape for it. Um, so we're just gonna go and just keep our momentum going. Um, there in Vegas. Did JB give you and Andrew any advice this uh, past weekend for uh, Vegas? He he didn't really give us. I think he just gave us a, an advice on how we're riding our bulls, and as long as we're riding our bulls, then the rest is going to play out. And um, so I I think as long as we're riding our bulls, it's all going to play out at the end. Have you had a chance to look at the other teams in Division B at all? I mean, I've seen them when they've popped up on Instagram and stuff, but uh, but I haven't like looked looked at them too good. Mm -hmm. no. Any idea who your toughest competition may be out there? If we're riding our bulls, nobody should. I mean, we just got to beat the bulls, and uh, at first, that's our first competitor. First, as long as we're riding our bulls, and then it's all gonna go. <laughs> My brother's standing here; he's making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, man. How much fun's it been for you to have some time at home? I know you're rodeoing again, but now you're in Texas at your place there to have some time with your brother and get some downtime before Vegas. I know you've been busy, though, too. But it's been good to be home and kind of relax a little bit. Yeah, it's been good to be be here and um, bucking some calves and just kind of enjoying, just enjoying, uh, just enjoying everything. Yeah. After um, this past weekend, seeing the competition in Vegas in Division A, um, do you think it'll be different for you and the team getting there, riding in this private event with no fans, the different style with the sound stage and the, the lasers and full B Cowboys set? Do you think it'll be different for you guys, or once you get there, it'll take just one bull and it'll be same as usual? I think we're most of us are kind of used to not riding in front of crowds right now just because that's kind of where everything's kind of transactioned over to for right now. Um, the lights and everything, I wouldn't say that's – I feel like – 
I know when I climb down in the buck and shoots, and I'm just speaking for myself, I'm not speaking for anybody else on the team, but when I climb down in the shoots, it's just you kind of go to a different place. Um, like when you're getting ready, it's all kind of different, but once you climb in there, at the end of the day, it's still the same job. Now there's one guy on your team, Colton Fritzland, that PBR fans haven't seen a ton of. Um, walk us through the decision to add him to your team. I know he's been a really talented guy on the rodeo trail, talented collegiate bull rider as well. What was the process of picking him for your team? Yeah, he. I think I like the way he rides. He rides real square, um, and uh, I know he's been getting on and going. And like he was 88 and a quarter in Coleman, I think. Uh, he went to a couple other rodeos this week and placed. And uh, I know he's he's hungry and wanting to wanting to go. How big is it for your team to get these rodeos out of the way the past week or so, get some momentum, and not show up to Vegas kind of cold? Yeah, I think that's a big thing is staying fresh because some people will just go home kind of and take the break as a break. But um, it's also a time when you need to gain on the people that are in front of you. And, and that's what I've been doing, getting on practice bulls here and going and getting on practice bulls and going down to JB's when we have those opportunities to be around people that are better than us. Did you know Andrew – that well at all until this past year or did you know him from earlier seasons i just knew him a little bit i met him first time i met him was i think at a canadian event and uh he just he always looked i always saw him at velocities and stuff and i was always wondering why he wasn't on why it took him to get on tour long as long as it did um but i think he's riding really good right now and, and he's he's hungry and wanting it how much fun is this team going to be in, in Vegas, Dale? And I mean, it's a young team, a lot of different names, um, young guys kind of looking to prove themselves. How much fun is this team going to be to watch, you think? I think it's going to be a really fun team to watch. I mean, we're all hungry and wanting it, and, and that's the biggest thing. As long as, long as we have guys that are going to try it, I feel like it's all going to work out. And um, try is one of the biggest things that you can't, you can't really find. Try is hard to find, and I think all the guys on the team – I know they have all try. Well, Dalen, good luck in Vegas. Hopefully, Team Boot Barn can place in that top three and get to Sioux Falls and qualify for postseason, all right? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Dalen. Appreciate it. Yeah, yes, sir.